This is the future. Hi guys, so today we are going to try and fix this paperweight. This is a rainbow vacuum cleaner. It sucks very well, but there's only one problem. For such a expensive vacuum cleaner, it's got the worst flaw I've ever seen. That. Of all the places where your electrical cable can break, why the f will it break off against the vacuum cleaner? Now how the bloody hell am I supposed to fix that shit? I already, as you can see, cut away a piece of this rubber to try and get to the cables. And I cannot strip this thing open to remove this cable and to reattach the cable into the vacuum cleaner. So this is why we have to come up with a new plan. And I think I came up with the most permanent plan I can think of. So my first step now is going to be to cut this thing open to get a lot more cable than I had. And then we're going to join the, the wires. Okay guys, I was extremely lucky to be able to open up more of the cable. So I've cut off a big piece of the rubber housing and I opened up this wire now. And I've already opened up this. So we're going to join them now and tape them. Now that's the normal thing to do. But then there's an extra step I'm going to add to make sure this thing doesn't come out ever again. Let's see. Once again my genius kicks in. And my ingenious method will help to save this vacuum cleaner. Remember the saying, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Well, this is it. So I found this in the kids' playroom. Luckily, it seems to be exactly the correct size. So what we're going to do now. As I've showed you before, there used to be a thick piece of rubber here that protects the cable, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this open on the length of the tube at the back we're going to put it over the cable we're going to take this silicone and we're going to build a extra thick rubber around the connection to make sure it doesn't come out again I already tested it I plugged it in it is working the wire is connected so let's see if I can do that and hopefully it will be the last of that we will leave it for one day and then tomorrow we'll come and we'll take off this plastic and see if it works. Obviously I'm not going to yank on it and see if it works. It, it, it must just work. That's all. Otherwise you can take a glue gun. But I didn't want to waste too much glue. So the silicon was a better option for me. At that comment if you think this was a great idea or if you think it's a shitty idea I really don't care at least I know now that the connection is in the silicon and once it hardens it should be very okay so I'm gonna leave it now until tomorrow morning and then we'll take off the plastic and that should be that okay guys so the silicon is dried it was just in the middle that it was a bit um, soft but the tips already got dry last night so like I said what I'm gonna do now to give it that extra bit of security I'm gonna take some insulation tape and I'm going to tie insulation tape over this area I would like to have used black unfortunately I only have red so let's put this up and then test if it works so okay guys so if you like this video if you like my idea give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel and to ring that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads and until next time guys remember whatever you do keep it safe cheers